Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Last time I did a video in the kitchen and we had really good lighting, um, you know, cause I'm standing right in front of a window. You guys really liked it. So I was like, let me do a bronzy glowy summer makeup routine. Although right now I'm paler than I think that I've ever been, but nevertheless, also I only have one nail painted. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a cute bronzy makeup look. And then for my lip color, I'm gonna use either 505 or Spicy. This is the old packaging. This is the new packaging. It looks a whole lot better and I'm really well pleased with it, but I think that I might use spicy. I don't know. Let's get into it. <laughs> okay. I um, already prepped my skin this morning and so I'm not going to do it again. I am going to go in with the Fawn Beauty Recovery and Glow Lip Oil. These just restocked on the website. I was not expecting, well, no, I expected them to do really well, but there was just so many and they sold out. So they're back. And if you want to shop, Recovery and Glow Lip Oil. It is life-changing. It will be down in the description box for you guys. I'm so excited to see everybody get them and love them. Um, that's so exciting. And everybody has had such a positive response. Like, I've not even had one single negative review or anything like that. So, I've been using this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hyaluronic Acid Tinted or just Moisturizer with SPF 50. But I think I'm going to use this today, the Elta MD. Um, you can get both of these on Amazon. I'll have them linked down below for you guys. But I've seen everybody rave about the Elta MD, and I think that it used to break me out. Uh, so I'm not sure if it does now. I'm a little nervous. So I think I'm going to, like, put some on the back of my hand and then put it on with a brush. I don't really know. I really don't know. And I'm also going to squirt a little bit of the Debronzy Anti-Pollution sunshine, sunshine Drops. How many guys, how many times do you think I said that? Like, how many times have I said I was going to use this and then used it? Uh, anyway, I'm going to mix a little bit of that in and then put it on my face. So, fun time. Fun time. What? So, funny story. I, we went to Costco the other day because we didn't have a Costco membership. Um, and so, I was like, well, we definitely need a Costco membership. Let's get one. So, I went with my family. We got a Costco membership. But... It was pouring the rain. It was Derby Day, and we were in Lexington, and they were having a big thing at Keeneland. And I was supposed to go to Keeneland afterwards. So, uh, I was wearing a really cute outfit. I had on the satin set, and it was adorable. And so, I had that on, and I had on a really cute green blazer. If I can, if I have the picture, I'll pop it up on the screen. But if not, just know that it was like a really cute, fancy outfit. Also, all of my jewelry will be linked down in the description box, as well as these headbands. Um, it's on a pack on Amazon. I think there's like five or six headbands and it's a really really good deal so i will have those down there for you guys um as well as my top is from abercrombie anyways back to my story so i had on this really cute outfit and i had on this pretty green blazer and i was carrying a brand new jacquemus white bag okay so prone to getting dirty and i never carried it before hence the brand new so I go to step out of the car and I have on these really cute pink Zara heels that I've worn maybe, maybe two times in my life because they're pink, you know? So I step out of the car, it's raining. My foot completely slides out from underneath me. I fall, my butt hits the, hits the inside of the car, hits the running board, then hits the soaking wet ground. And my arms just like fly up, like immediately like my arms just fly up and I'm I fall, down, I fall down in the Costco parking lot. And my first thought was, it's been pouring the rain. We've been driving like an hour and a half up here. Did I just get my outfit that I'm supposed to wear to Keeneland on Derby Day, potentially seeing Drake and Jack Harlow filthy? Because if so, I'm literally going to scream. Not like, oh, am I wounded, you know? So, anyways, I get up. Well, actually, my mom goes, Kate, why'd you fall? There I was, laying in the Costco parking lot, freezing to death. It was horribly cold, rainy, not the vibe, and I fall down, and there I am sitting on the ground while traffic is going by, mind you, okay? Traffic is literally going by. Ilya True Skin Serum Concealer. And she goes, why did you fall? Oh, I don't know, Christy. Maybe just because I fell down, you know? So, anyways, there's that. And I just laid there for a second, like, trying to assess the situation. I have a bruise on my butt the size of Arkansas. Literally the size of Arkansas. I'm getting some texture right here. And it hurts so bad and my butt is so 
incredibly sore, like just incredibly sore. And yeah, so that's what happened to me. And then we laughed about it for a really long time because I just fell down in the Costco parking lot, like hit a, hit a hard fall, you know, in the pouring rain and then just sat there for a minute, like assessing the situation. And it was just really dramatic and yeah. But fun fact about me, I don't know if it's cause like I'm a tall lanky person, you know, I really don't, but I am quite prone to accidents and I don't know why. Like one time we were having boot camp at my aunt's house over the summer, okay? This was last year. And I mean, I could go on with these stories for days, literal days. This stuff always happens to me. It's nothing new. And then whenever it happens, I'm just like, yeah, that seems about right. So we were having boot camp at my aunt's house and <laughs> we're, I was doing, I think hang cleans or like clean and jerk, something like that. Something with a barbell. And her driveway is kind of on a downward slant. And she has a basketball goal because she has kids. And so, you know, I'm just minding my own business. And the basketball goal falls over on top of me while I'm bent over. And you're like, oh, that sounds really painful, Katie. I'm sorry that that happened to you. Let me tell you how it happened. I was literally bent over. And the goal, like the goal, the, the rim, the rim, falls over, hits me in the arm. Like, the rim part hits me in the arm and, like, knocks me over in the middle of the workout. And there I just go. And then it's just, like, landing on top of me. Everybody's like, oh, oh, okay. And I'm like, what was the reason for that? Like, what was the reason for that? I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer. This one is in the shade Golden Tan. So, there was that. And then, literally, like, not even a week later... Um, at her house, she has a Saint Berdoodle that's like literally bigger than my horse. And I'm not even being dramatic. Like my horse, Princess Derby, you may have seen her in some vlogs. Amber, my aunt, her dog is literally bigger than Princess Derby. She's freaking huge. So Winnie is her name, Winnie Rose. Winnie runs right out in front of me in the gravels while we're like running sprints, which is honestly don't run sprints in the gravels, but you know, it was COVID. We had limited space and availability. So she runs right out in front of me in the gravels. She knocks me down, like, knocks my feet completely out from under me. Like, something you would see on TikTok or, like, you know, some YouTube video that's like, oh, that's hilarious. Bless that person's heart. That probably really hurt. It was, those situa it was that situation. And then I landed on my knees and, like, cut my knee open, literally, and was in such pain because I landed in the gravel, in the huge gravel, too, not, like, little pea gravel. No. So, there was that. So, you know. That's a little story time for today. Also, if you, I mean, I guess you're watching this part, but anyways, I've been loving Alana Davidson's Everyday May. I get so excited every May and every Vlogmas or Landmas because I just love watching her content. Um, we have very, very different personalities, like just completely opposite, kind of, I guess. But I just love her. I love her looks. I love her fashion sense. I just love Alana. So, I've been watching her Everyday May videos every day. And if you don't follow Alana Davison, you definitely should. I posted about this, I think, in a video that are, has already gone up by now. And I also posted a TikTok about this, and it sold out. I'm um, such so an influencer. Just kidding. But anyways, this is the Dior No Powder Powder, or Backstage No Powder Powder. Face and Body Powder No Powder. That's what it's called. I'm on the shade 5N. I've been using this as a bronzer, and I love it so, so much because it's not meant... Like, you can use it as a bronzer, clearly, but it's not meant to be a bronzer. That's not why it was formulated. So, it's very lightweight, and it's very, not like, not that pigmented because it's a no-powder powder. And so, it just builds up very nicely. You could really use this with any light powder. Any powder that's supposed to be just not very pigmented or anything like that, you could definitely do something like this with it. But I just so happen to love this formula and I got it from the Dior website, but you can get it from Sephora as well. I'm not sure if your specific shade would be in stock. 5N is not in stock the last time I checked, but that doesn't mean it's not in stock now. So, um, also my perfume of the day is the Juliana's Perfumes, the dupe for, um, Perfumes de Marley Delina exclusive. And I smell so good, like just very feminine, rosy, just like very cute. And I usually hate the smell of roses. It's not my personal journey, but you know. Okay, now I'm taking this bronzer on my fluffy brush from 
Morphe and Ariel. This is the A11 brush and I'm just putting this in my crease and then down the sides of my nose because I'm creating some content today. I'm gonna have my nose contour. It is 156. What was that? The dryer was bamboozling me. Our dryer wild out. Anyway, it's 156 and I've been very productive <clears throat> today. And I'm so happy and excited about that. Like I'm just thrilled. I love when that happens. So yeah. Um, I went to the post office, dropped off orders. I got my workout in. I did my devotional this morning. I did emails. I sent a package that I, that someone bought a purse. I sent the purse out. I've done all kinds of things. I'm filming this video. I got my description box made for my other video. My thumbnails made for both videos. It's just been a good day. Great day. Love that. Love that. I'm going to go in now. This is like the key portion of the video. That's like, this is how I'm going to get the bronzy look. I'm taking this from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the um, eyes to mesmerize and uh, eyes to mesmerize in the shade amber gold. It's a beautiful bronzy gold, and um, I'm gonna take it on this brush. This is the Morphe and Ariel A20 brush. It's just a blender brush. It looks like this, and I take a little bit at a time, kind of dust it off on my side as well because you don't want to go in with too much because it is a cream shadow. But since I already laid that base down, it's gonna be very easy to blend into it, and I just lay that down. I'm definitely gonna need a little bit more. So I just lay that down and I'm kind of doing back and forth swapping motions, kind of just looking and assessing the situation, being like, okay, what do I like? What looks good? What doesn't? You know, those vibes. And you can already see like, it's just a really nice one and done eyeshadow. Like, yes, I put my bronzer on there, but it's like just really cute and bronzy. And so easy, like I'm about to go to the beach on, in two weeks I'm leaving for the beach. and so. I'm always looking for or thinking about products that I can use at the beach because, you know, it kills me when people take a long time to get ready at the beach. I'm like, you got sun, your hair is beachy, wavy, like you don't need to be taking 37 hours to do your hair and makeup. Who actually cares? So if you're going out and you want to be a little bit glam and you don't want to take too long and you don't want to have too many products in your to-go, in your to-go bag, what is this, a daggum restaurant? In your travel makeup bag, which shop fun beauty travel makeup bag <laughs> anyway um then this is a really good product to have and i will post all the products in the description box below now i'm taking this on a pointy brush like so i don't know why i just looked in the camera like that anyway and just really honestly using a lot on my bottom lash line because i think that that is where you get like the most dramatic vibes is like the lower lash line and smoking it out and making it look really cute drag it just a little bit lower than what you would normally think um because that is going to open up your eye even though it sounds like they would do the opposite it's going to open up your eye and give you more room and stuff more room and stuff more room to work with i am d-o-n-e done with that i'm going to use my blush now I'm obviously going to use Charlotte Tilbury Ecstasy Blush. It is just perfect for every day, no matter what look you're doing. It looks phenomenal. And then my little trick that I've been doing, if you haven't seen me do it, is I take Persona Cosmetics Bubble, which is a very bright pink, but it's not super pigmented, like overwhelming. And I put it right here, like almost under my eyes. And it just brightens up that area and looks so, so nice. And it gives me like that Kylie Jenner, like bright eyed under eye look, which I love. Now for my brows, I've been doing like really natural brows, which I've been loving because I started using, I told you guys a while back, but I started using the Babe, Babe Lash Brow Serum and Eyelash Serum. And this is month, maybe like two and a half, almost three. And I feel like overnight my eyelashes grew like that and my eyebrows started getting thicker. Like I don't want to push them up, but you can see like it's just so much more dense so much more dense so i'm gonna see if i can get a discount code with them i bought the products myself i love them but i just would like to be able to get a discount code for you guys because i really love them and i bought the brow serum and the eyelash serum for cheaper than what the uh, rodent fields one tube of the rodent fields costs so yeah 
I will have it linked down below as well. And I'll reach out to them and see if I can get a discount code for you guys. And if I can, I'll put it in the description box or I'll put it on the screen. But sometimes it takes brands to get like, uh, takes brands a while to get back to you. So anyway, I've just been following my natural brow. Like you can see how much thicker they are, which I love. And I've just been going with my natural shape. So like over here, I have a scar. Just roll with it, you know? I've also been bringing my, like the front of my eyebrow, I have little hairs here, but they're harder to see. So I'll bring this here and drag it in and then take my finger and blend it up because it just makes it mesh together a little bit better, but also makes my face look like more, I don't know, just cute. I just like my eyebrows like that. So that's a little trick you could try because eyebrows really do frame your face. They make a big difference. Like, and I, um, I, why did I say, oh, I always notice somebody's eyebrows. And I'm like, did you ever plug, did you not plug enough? <laughs> and also eyebrows are one of my favorite things to do. Like if I'm doing makeup on a friend, um, eyebrows are always one of my most favorite things to do because I think a lot of people don't know how to do their eyebrows. And so I'm always like, bestie, <laughs> let me help you. Also... You guys, I finally got my hand on the Givenchy. You know, my friend James, Caitlin, she always talks about this powder. She was like, you need to get it. But she has, uh, she doesn't have the pink one. And Melissa Herkman, who is a makeup artist, I'm sure you have probably heard of her. Um, she always uses the pink one. You can kind of see that it's pink, but not really. Prism Libre powder from Givenchy. And um, the only thing that I have a little bit of a complaint about is the fact that there's no, like there's a sifter, but there's no stopper. So it just kind of comes out. But I've been using this powder, and the other day, whenever I was at Costco, I was, and we were getting our membership, um, the girl there, I believe her name was Lauren. I think her name was Lauren. I'm not positive. She was using, um, she was using what? I'm using this. She was talking about my skin, and she was like, your skin looks so good. Like, I need to know. Like, look at that. I used it on this side. It just completely blurs your pores and makes you look, I don't know, just really put together, and it doesn't... Like, it takes away the shine, like the oily shine, but it still leaves the, almost like illumination or just like the healthy glow. That's what it does. It leaves the healthy glow of your skin. And I am not at all a powder girl. You guys know this. But I love this powder. And I put the pink one all over my face, and I don't care. So, I think that's one of the things that makes my makeup look so good in person. It's just like the powder looks really nice. Also, I haven't used this in 100 years, the Anastasia Brow Freeze, um, because I, I, the inside of it is like dipped out. And so every time that I put a spoolie in it, it just gets way too much product on the end and I get annoyed. So I'm just like, mm, do I really want to use that? You know what I mean? It is annoying. So, but I'm going to use it today because I kind of want to. Now that I have like a lot more brow hairs, than I did, I'm like, mm, what would it look like if they were stuck to my face? Anyway, Lauren, if that's your name, I'm pretty sure it is. If you're watching this, hey, girlfriend. Oh, Lord. I think I have too many hairs now. I hate my brows like that. Well, guys, I wish I wouldn't have done that to my brows, but here we are. You live and you learn, and then you die. That is a good looking brow, my boys. Look at that. Dang, I really can't tell that that serum has worked. Like, the amount that I filled in my brows was very minuscule, and it was mainly over here. And, like, my eyebrows just look a lot thicker and better. They don't look like sisters or twins today, but we're rolling with it. Um... For my lashes, actually, I'm going to go in with this liner. This is from MAC. This is the Costa Riche Eye Coal. It's just a really um, deep brown liner, but honestly, I feel like it has a little bit of a purple hue to it, and so I think it looks really nice on green eyes, and I have very green hazel eyes. I've got green, blue in the middle, or brown in the middle, blue on the outside. I don't know, something like that. And I'm going to put a little bit up here on my, or on my top lash line. Just kind of smudged to create a little bit of a smokier eye and connect it at the bottom. Just a little bit. And I'm going to go in with my Morphe and Ariel 
brush. This is just one of these little tiny brushes. And kind of buff it and just blend it out and make it look smudged and like effortless. Which is pretty much like the look I'm going for. It's like, yeah, it's a smoky look, but it's effortless. Effortless smoky. You know? I'm gonna add a little bit more. She's crazy today. Okay, that's cute. We're here for that. Now I'm gonna go with my mascara. If I'm wanting like voluminous lashes like I am today, this, are, this is usually the one I go in with. You guys have heard me talk about it. It's the Ilia um, Fullest Volumizing Mascara. This is what the wand looks like, and normally I'm not a big fan of these kind of wands, but it just works really well. But recently I have been using this one, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And I know that you guys have probably seen this and been like, girl, we've been using that for 100 years. But when I first tried it, I did not like it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my lashes, and then we'll do the lip and be finished. It just builds up really quickly. Like, this is, you know, five seconds of me doing it. Christy. Christy. Something that I would like to talk about is the price of Air Wand smoothies. And you're like, Katie, that's really random. But I think about it every day. And I'm just like, why do people pay 20 something dollars for a smoothie? Maybe because I am, I don't know. I don't know, like just make your own freaking smoothie. You know what I mean? Like you could buy gallons of fruit. Oh, there's a little bird. For $21 and make it your own self. You really could. And you could get multiple smoothies out of it. But no. At Air Wand, you get a quarter cup of a banana, quarter cup of blueberries, three-fourths a cup of water, and a splash of oat milk. And they're like, that'll be $77. Thank you. <laughs> Let me know. Somebody let me know. My perfume smells absolutely delicious. I like a lower lash mascara a lot of the times. Okay. There's that. Um, now I'm going to use a lip liner. I'm just going to use this one. I'm, you can use literally any lip liner. I just like to use something. Um, this is Anywhere Caffeine from Makeup Forever. And I wiped off my lip oil so I'd have like a good not wet surface to put my lip gloss on. I just like to define my lip lines. So there's that. Oh, my girl Brielle texts me, what's up, girl? Okay, I think I'm gonna use the shade Spicy because 505 is just like, I'm not feeling it right now. Spicy is this stunning hot coral color. Mm-hmm, uh-huh. As soon as I made this color, I was like, that is the color for summer. And it's amazing. It is a hot coral, orangey red, pinky, beautiful freaking color. This is one of the shades that Tati had originally posted about because it is stunning. Let me show you the difference on my hand between 505 and Spicy. So here is Spicy, obviously the color that I have on my lips. And then 505 is a true like blue undertone red. I hope you'll be able to see. See how this has like a very blue undertone? This is like a hot corally pink. It's kind of hard to tell in this specific lighting, but it is, there's a difference. And I live for spicy. And the S is a money sign instead of an S. So. I think that is the final look, you guys. I really like it. It is a super, super quick and easy look to do. Um, whenever you are just wanting to have, to have a really simple smoky eye. But also have that smoky eye moment. Um, I love this lip shade with everything. I think that it's like a very summery, like, pulled together look. Let me fix my hair. I'll let it air dry. So my, my, um. My little flyaways are having a moment. Okay, well, anyways, my hair is not doing what needs to be done, but you get the point. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look, and if you want to shop anything that I used, it will be linked down below in the description box for you all, as well as with the shades that I used, so there's no confusion. 
Um, I love this. I think this is a perfect like everyday summer look. Obviously, you don't have to go with smoky on the eyes if you don't want to, but it's like a really light smoky eye, and you could definitely build it up if you wanted um, with more liner or just more of the Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize. Either one. Um, I do think this lip is necessary. Like I know it's my brand, but I'm not even biased just a really freaking good color. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe before you leave and have a fabulous day. My hair is giving troll. I'm putting the head back on, headband back on. There she is. That's cute.